working on this Chevy 4x4 Silverado and this bedside got caved in. You know, it's wide open. <clears throat> you can use that whole area if you come up with a leverage system to push it and get it popped. Many times this happens in paintless dent repair, you want to use glue tabs, but then you notice that the panel's been repainted. So glue pulling is not an option because why would you want to ruin the entire job by pulling paint off just because you want to use glue tab? So I'm going to go up behind it and get some big pushes on this. And the tool I'm going to use is a dent dial. Big 35 heavy. I put a nice wide base with some three layers of leather. Uh, got some extended uh, all thread, another maybe eight or nine inches. So let's put it up inside there. But first things first, before you pop large dents, what you want to make sure is that you don't just pop it when it's cold, because when this contour line releases, it's possible right on the peak, it could crack the paint if you're just pulling it cold. So you always wanna heat up the panel before you pull it with glue or cold glue or whatever, because you can ruin the entire job just by being impatient, go for the quick release and you get the crack and you're apologizing to the customer. <laughs> So first things first, heat it up. Second, what are you gonna use to push it out or pull it out? Keep the panel really hot before I start pulling on it. I got my dent dial and some gloves. Dent dial's all set up, push that one spot. And I have my slapper tapper ready. And the reason why is that, that tool frees up a hand. And that's where I'm gonna be able to do some off dolly. And that's what you want. You want to take advantage of when it's sitting out to knock the crowd down at the same time. It's hard to do that in certain areas. Like, you know, if you're pulling a tab, you can't get it quite inside there and tap here like you can get a push. A push inside there makes a huge difference because you could see it. You could see it creep closer to that mound and you're really close and then you tap. A tab, it puts a nice square line right across there. So here's a good example of where you want a nice push. But I'm gonna start here with this first push because I wanna release that body line and then while it's out, sit on my butt, look this way, and hit that crown. Glad I got my glasses on, this dirt's falling out of this. All right, it's a good spot. Now I just have to sit on my butt and pull. you want. You want to keep the tension on because if it falls back in, you may not get the chance again. I mean, you can always put the tool back up in there, but it's nice being in position, especially under still under some heat. And I got this really nice crown. And just knock down, goes down like cake. weight against it, no problem. These, these turned out really nice. I can see my crown and still got my, my hand on the tool to where I can just sit there like this. Oh my gosh, look at all the dirt. Welcome to PDR working on farm trucks.
Welcome to PDR. Many times this is the uh, position to be in, working on trucks, dirt falling down, but saves this truck from a repaint. And it's all worth it. <laughs> truck ended up having some, some Bondo down here, so that's unfortunate. But as long as you keep the paint hot, you can push in the filler and make it nice. As long as you keep it hot, it won't crack. And I got so much power here, so I'm using uh, the slight bend tip, full of leather, nice wide tip, and I got all the, the, the adjustments I need to make this super nice. Before I take off, you know, you go from job to job, you gotta do these pretty fast. And this came out really nice. For a repaint, no bondo broken. It's a farm truck, and you know, so it's been repainted before. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wiping this down. It's just that's the life of a dent person, just going from job to job. You know, you do your best to do them fast and quick, and get on with it. That's done. That's how you make money without glue pulling. It's a repaint, and without coming in from the top because of the top cap. Get underneath it, tooling gets it done. Thanks for watching.